So let's so chedukaji. What does this sentence mean? If you notice, the word esso is in red letter. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Tehangul, we are going to study about the word esso. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Tehangul. Word number 201. Eso. Eso. This is pronounced with two syllables. The first syllable is e, the second syllable is so. Pronounce it with me. Eso. Eso. Eso is actually not an independent word. This is usually attached to a noun that indicates location. This is used to say from, or this is also used to say in or at. This is more of indicating the location of an action. To be specific, ESO is used to indicate the initial location of action. That's why it could be used as from. We'll know more about this later. For now, let's learn first how to write ESO in Hangul. First, we need to draw a no sound iyang followed by the e character. That's it for the first syllable. And for the second syllable, so we need to draw first a siyot character followed by the a character. And then we just have to combine the hangle for each of these syllables to write eso in hangul. Again, just a reminder eso is not an independent word. But if you want to attach it to a specific place or a name of a place, this is how you write it in hangul. Now let's try to look into this example sentence. It says, from Seoul to Jeju. Again, from Seoul to Jeju. The Korean translation of this sentence is, Seoul esso Jeju kaji. Again, it's Seoul esso Jeju kaji. The first part of the sentence is Seoul esso. Seoul is a place in Korea, and esso is our word for the day. As mentioned, ESO is used to indicate that an action started from a specific location. So when we say Seoul ESO, it's the same as saying from Seoul. The second part of the sentence is Jeju Kaji. Jeju is another place in Korea. And Kaji is a suffix which has a similar function as ESO. However, Kaji is different from ESO in a sense that ESO indicates the initial location, while Kaji indicates the ending location. So if we combine this, it would result to a sentence that means from Seoul to Jeju. So this line indicates that something started from Seoul and it ended at Jeju. So looking back to this sentence, which is flashed at the beginning of the video, we already know by now that the meaning of Seoul as so Jeju Kaji is simply from Seoul to Jeju. And with that, you've just learned the suffix so. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 191 to 200. Don't forget our word for today, which is actually a suffix, which we call word by convention. It's esso. And this is used to say from. Again, this is not an independent word and it has to be added to a name of a place. The first word for our review is word number 200, gamcha. And this is the Korean noun for potato. Word number 199 is banchingu. This means half friend or it could also be used to say classmate. Word number 198 is woyo which means Monday. Word number 197 is putta, which means from. Word number 196 is sengyeol and this is the Korean noun for birthday. 
Word number 195 is tactual, which means shut up. Word number 194 is yaksoke, and this is used to say, promise me. Word number 193 is wisa, and this is the Korean noun for doctor. Word number 192 is hepa, and this is used to say, try to do it, or let me see you do it. And the last for our review is word number 191, was which means so or the past tense of the verb to see. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time out here at Day Hango. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Korean words. What does this sentence mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is kaji. Because today, on one Korean word today here at Day Hangul, we're going to study about the word kaji. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Word number 202. Kaji. Kaji. This is pronounced as a two syllable word. The first syllable is ka, the second syllable is chi. Pronounce it with me. Kaji. Kaji. Just like our previous word discussed, kaji is also a suffix. Meaning, this could not exist alone. It has to be attached to another word. For the case of kaji, this is used to say up to this place or until this time. So this is used to indicate time or location where an action ends. Again, kaji is used to say up to or until. How do we write kaji in Hangul? So this is how we are going to write it when we are going to attach it into another word. So let's start with the first syllable ka. First, we need to draw a double kyuk or sang kyuk character followed by an a character. And for the second syllable ji, we need to draw first a ji character followed by an e character. And then we just have to combine the hangle for each of these two syllables to form the hangle of the word kaji. Now let's try to look into this example sentence. It says, from here to there. Again, from here to there. The Korean translation of this sentence is, Yogi esso, chogi kaji. Again, it's, Yogi esso, chogi kaji. The first part of the sentence is, Yogi esso. Yogi means here or right here. And ESO is used to say from here. So this is to indicate that the initial location is here. So Kyogi ESO is from here. The second part of the sentence is Jogi Kaji. The word Jogi is used to say right there. And Kaji, our word for today, which is actually a suffix, is used to say to there so it is to indicate that the final position is right there so yogi esso from here and the final location is chogi kaji to there so looking back for this which is flash at the beginning of the video we already know by now that the meaning of the sentence yogi esso chogi kaji is simply from here to there and with that, you've just learned Kaji. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. 
As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 192 to 201. But don't forget, our word for today, which is actually a suffix, kaji. And this is used to say up to or until. Word number 201, which is actually another suffix, is esso. And this is used to say from or in or at. Word number 200 is kamja, and it's simply just the Korean noun for potato. Word number 199 is pansingo. It literally means half friend, and this could be used to say classmate. Word number 198 is woyo and this is the Korean term for Monday. Word number 197 is puto, and this is used to say from. Word number 196 is sengil, and this is the Korean noun for birthday. Word number 195 is takcho, which means shut up. Word number 194 is yaksoke. And this is used to say, promise me. Word number 193 is visa, and this is the Korean noun for doctor. And the last for our review, word number 192, hepa. And this is used to say, try to do it, or let me see you do it. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time over here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Korean words. Chalbone. Have you ever heard of this phrase before? What do you think does it mean? Today, on One Korean Word Today here at Dehango, we're going to discuss Chalbone. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Dehango. Word number 203. Chalbone. Chalbone. This is pronounced a three syllable word. Actually, this is two words. The first word is chal, and the second word is composed of two syllables, which is bo and ne. Pronounce it with me. Chalbone. The expression chalbone, which we branded as word just for convention for this channel, actually means have a nice day please do take note that this is in an informal manner how do we write chalpone in hangul let's just say this is composed of three syllables the first syllable is chal and to be able to write it we need to draw a jiet character followed by an a character followed by a real character for the second syllable bo we need to draw first a biop character followed by an o character and for the last syllable, ne, we need to draw first a neon character followed by the e character. And then, we just have to combine the hangul for each of these three syllables, or these three parts, to form the hangul of the phrase, chalbone. Now, let's try to look into this example English sentence, which I think is already familiar to us at this point of the video. So, it is, have a nice day. The Korean translation of have a nice day is chalbone. Again, chalbone. Please do take note that this is in an informal manner. The first part of the phrase is chal, and this is actually treated as a separate word, which means well. And the second part of the phrase is pone. Pone means to spend or to have it. So when you say chalbone, it's the same as saying spend the day well or have the day well which is similar to saying 
have a nice day. And just like what I have mentioned earlier, the phrase jalbone is structured to become an informal phrase. So this is in an informal manner. So this is more probably used to people of the same age as us or this could be said to people that are younger than us. We can also use it with our friends since we can talk to them informally. But this is rather not used to people that are older than us and this is not used on a formal setting. So yes, please do remember that. So looking back to this, which is flashed at the beginning of the video, we already know by now that the meaning of the phrase Chalpone is simply Have a nice day in an informal manner. And with that, you've just learned Chalpone. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 193 to 202. But don't forget our word for today, which is actually a phrase, chalbone. And this is an informal way of saying have a nice day. Word number 202 is actually a suffix, kaji. This is used to say up to or until to indicate the ending time or location. Word number 201 is another suffix which is esso, and this is used to say from or to indicate the initial location of an action. Word number 200 is kamja, and this is the Korean noun for potato. Word number 199 is panchingu, and this is the Korean noun for classmate or a half friend. Word number 198 is Koyo'il, and this is the Korean term for Monday. Word number 197 is Putta, and this is a preposition that indicates time and place, and this is used to say from. Word number 196 is Tengil, and this is the Korean noun for birthday. Word number 195 is Takto, which means shut up. Word number 194 is Yaksoke, and this is used to say promise me. Word number 193 is Wiza, and this is the Korean noun for doctor. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. No do. No do. What does it mean? Today, on one Korean word a day here at Day Hangul, we are going to study about the word No do. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Word number 204. No do. No do. This is pronounced the two syllable word. The first syllable is no, the second syllable is do. Pronounce it with me. No do. No do. The meaning of the word no do is you too. Again, it's you too. Or you as well. How do we spell the word nodo in Hangul? Let's start with the first of the two syllables. To be able to write the syllable no in Hangul, we need to draw first a neon character followed by the all character. And then for the second syllable do, we need to draw first a dicket character 
followed by the A uh character. And then, we just have to combine the hangul for each of these two syllables to form the hangul of the word NOTO. Now, let's try to look into this example English phrase. It says, you too. The Korean translation of this is no do. Again, it's no do. Just some more information about the phrase no do. The no part means you, and the do part means too or also. So when we say no do, it's the same as saying you too or you also. If you could remember, we have a word nado, which means me too. And this time, we have nodo, which means you too. And with that, you've just learned nodo. Now, let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 194 to 203. Don't forget our word for today, word number 204, nodo, which means you too. Next one is word or phrase number 203, chalbone, which means have a nice day in an informal manner. Word number 202 is kaji. This is a particle which is used to say up to or until this time or location. Word number 201 is actually a particle, esso, which is used to say from, in, or at. Word number 200 is gamja, and this is the Korean noun for potato. Word number 199 is banchingo. This literally means half friend, but this is also used to say classmate. Word number 198 is Kuoyo-il, and this is the Korean term for Monday, which is one among the days of the week. Word number 197 is Puto, which means from. Word number 196 is Senyil, which means birthday. Word number 195 is Dakcho, and this is used to say, shut up. Word number 194 is Yaksoke, which means, promise me. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Korean words. Pin bang. Pin bang. What does this phrase mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is bang. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Day Hangul, we are going to study about the word bang. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Word number 205. Bang. Bang. This is composed of just one syllable and this is pronounced as bang. Again, it's bang. One among the meaning of the word bang in Korean is room or chamber. Again, bang is room or chamber. How do we spell bang in Hangul? This is composed of just one syllable. And it is written by drawing first a B of character, followed by an A character, 
followed by an Eon character. We just need to combine these Hangul characters to form the Hangul of the word Bang. Again, that is how you write Bang in Hangul. Now let's try to look into this example English phrase. It says, Empty Room. Again, it's Empty Room. The Korean translation of this is Pin Bang. Again, it's Pin Bang. first part of the phrase is bin, which means empty. And second part is bang, which means room. So when we combine the meaning of this two, it would result to a phrase bin bang, which means empty room. And with that, you've just learned bang. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words we have. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 195 to 204. But don't forget our word for today, word number 205, bang, which means room or chamber. The first word for our review is word number 204, nodo, which means you too. Word number 203 is actually a phrase, jalbone, which means have a nice day in an informal manner. Word tag 202 is kaje. This is actually a particle which is used to say up to or until. Word tag 201 is esso. This is also a particle which is used to say from. Word number 200 is kamja, which means potato. Word number 199 is banchingo. This literally means half friend, but this could also be used to say classmate. Word number 198 is koyo il, which means Monday, which is one among the days of the week. Word number 197 is putto, which means from. Word number 196 is sengil, which means birthday. And the last for our review is word number 195, dakcho, which means shut up or shut it. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.